my name is Amber and today I'm partaking or starting to partake in a really exciting project, at least it's exciting for me. Uh, I was sent a very exciting package, or two exciting packages, but this is the final part that I need to get going with this. Let's quickly open this and then I can explain what the hell I'm talking about. I bought the first two books in the Witchland series because the publisher sent me a copy of book three which is coming out in paperback on the 14th of May, two weeks time and I haven't read the first two books yet because I have had Truth Witch, the first book, on NetGalley for three or four years now, however long it's been out, I requested it right away and I still haven't read it. So I thought over the next couple of weeks I'm going to binge read this entire series and vlog it and let you know my thoughts on it. I know barely anything about this series. I know that in the first one, the main character, she is a truth witch, which means that she can detect lies and that makes her very valuable to the people in charge. I imagine because it's a YA fantasy book, there will be a war brewing and the main character and probably her band of friends will have to try to fight for their lives and for their country. So I'm really excited to start this. Like I said, I was meant to read it years ago and I just didn't. So I'm really glad that I'm finally getting around to it and I'm just really excited to binge read a series because I haven't done that in the longest time. I'm going to go and make myself presentable and then I'm going to start Truth Witch and I'll let you know my initial thoughts in a bit. I am just about to sit down and start Truth Witch. I'm, it's a couple of days after I received the book package but I was too busy reading The Empire of Gold to start this but i finished that now and i'm fully prepared to start reading this i'm expecting to read about 50 pages during this sitting and i'll give you my thoughts on the initial 50 and then we'll see how it goes hi everyone it's the next day and i've read a bit of truth which i'm currently 97 pages in and it's okay so far i'm not definitely not hating it but it's also a bit confusing there's a lot of info jumping at the beginning and all this terminology and I don't- is there a glossary at the back? I'm not sure there is. There's not, there's just information on the street team which is cool but I need a glossary because I don't- or at the start I didn't know what all of these different witches were. We had void witch, blood witch, truth witch, threads, what the hell are threads, thread witches, air and wind witches, uh, cleaving was also a thing but I think I'm getting the hang of it now so I'm going to try to finish it today because I really need to get on to Wind Witch soon because this vlog needs to go up soon so I'm going to try and power through. I've got, oh god it's a long one, about 400 pages left to read so it's a good thing I've got the day off today but I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the week because Blood Witch is staring at me and it's enormous and I've only got a few days left to finish reading this. It's because Empire of Gold took up all of my time last week and I didn't get around to this one but yeah I'm going to try and power through and then see if I start to enjoy this one a bit more now that I know what's going on. So I'm just about to eat my lunch. I have read 300-ish pages of, well 270 pages of Truth Witch. Don't worry I'm not bending the spine. Don't shout at me. I'm not loving it but it's definitely not the worst book I've read. I feel like it's one of those that once you really get into the series it gets better but right now I don't really care for any of the characters or their struggles because I've only just met them. I'm only 200 pages in to a what thousand page page series so far but I imagine as the series progresses they will slowly start to grow on me so I'm just going to eat my lunch and then get back to it. I'm actually getting through this quite quickly so I'm expecting to finish this in the next couple of hours and then I'm going to start Wind Witch as well. I've got about 100 pages left and I'm really not enjoying it. This is not what I was expecting from this book at all. I thought I was going to love it. And now I'm really worried that, oh god my hair. And now I'm really worried that I'm not going to enjoy the rest of the series. Uh, but maybe it'll pick up in the last 100 pages. Although I'm really not expecting that. I finished it and I am really disappointed. I thought this was going to be really good. It's really hyped up. It sounds like it's my kind of thing in what I enjoy in my fantasy. But in my opinion it's overhyped and quite bland really so i'm gonna give it two stars and now i'm really hesitant to carry on with the trilogy but i've committed to this vlog now and the publisher did send me a copy of the third book so i should at least try and if nothing else this can be a lesson to all of you not to trust the hype because obviously this didn't work out so well so i'm going to collect my thoughts on this because i've only just finished it i haven't really realized what exactly it was that i didn't like about it and why it was so boring so 
while I think about that I'm going to go and take a break before I go ahead and start Wind Witch which is the second book from the summary it looks as though this is a straight continuation of the first one so hopefully this is better than the first one and the author's writing has improved but I know that with this one it wasn't her debut so presumably she's already got kind of established an established writing style which maybe I just don't click with I'm hesitant I'm quite scared of carrying on with the trilogy series but I'm going to do it because I'm committed now and I really need to post this vlog. It's the next morning and I have finally convinced myself to start Wind Witch. I'm quite worried that I'm not going to enjoy this and this entire vlog is going to be me ragging on these books. But I've decided that I can give it another go and hopefully the second book will be better now that there's no world well not as much world building going on info dumping hopefully the characters won't be rushing it around so much so i'm 30 pages into this i can say the beginning isn't as confusing as truth witch which is good so i'm getting into it a lot faster i'm going to read probably a couple of hundred pages now this morning while i eat my breakfast and then i'll get back to you once i'm around the halfway point and we'll see how i'm doing it's a little bit later on now it's around lunchtime and i've read 200 pages of wind witch sorry if you know my laptop is doing something and overheating but I can't turn it off because I'm working on it. I am still not loving this book but it was a lot easier to get into than the first book. I think my main issue at the moment is that I don't really care about the characters because I didn't care about them from the first book. I'm not really invested in the story and I'm kind of wondering why I'm still doing this vlog. <laughs> I've committed now, I've done too much footage to scrap it. I've still got the third book to read so I might as well carry on and then do a full review on the series at the end of the vlog so stay tuned for that I guess. I really hope it gets better and then I start to enjoy it because I would really really like to enjoy this series and get in on the hype with everyone especially in time for the fourth book to come out which will be coming out I think next year but at the moment as it stands I'm not liking it all that much this is definitely better than the first book though so there's that. I am once again struggling to find a good angle to record from in this car so I am obviously out of the house which feels weird I have just dropped Quill into the supermarket, or not literally, I've driven him to the supermarket because he's got a bad back so that he can go and do some shopping. I obviously have to wait out here because of social distancing, so that is what, sorry I just got a message. So that is what I'm doing, so I'm using this opportunity to read a bit more of Wind Witch. I'm still only 200 pages in but I'm expecting to read about 50 pages while Quill is in the shop because it's probably going to take about half an hour. Hopefully. I will enjoy it more that's what i keep saying and it's not really happening but i have hope i'm not going into this with a negative attitude but it's just not a good book <laughs> guys i tried i really freaking tried with this series but i think i'm going to have to dnf i read all of truth witch i read about 250 pages 200 pages of wind witch i got to hear but I just can't do it. I don't care about these characters, so I cannot finish this series. And it's such a shame because I wanted to be in on the hype for this series because I wanted to know what everyone was talking about, especially because when Blood Witch came out, everyone was super hyped for it. And I thought it was going to be the next big thing in the booktube community. And it is a big thing, but I don't understand why because I'm just not enjoying it and I can't bring myself to finish this series. And I also wasn't sure whether or not I should post this vlog because it's going to be unfinished. But at the same time, I've recorded all of this footage now, so I feel like I can just dump my review at the end here and call it a video. So here we are. I'm reviewing the one and a half books of this series that I have read. Like I said, I think I've already explained all of this, but to bring my thoughts together, I guess. Truth Witch. I don't think it's very well written. I've never read anything by Susan Denard before, so I don't know if this is just her style of writing but I really don't think it's very good. I feel like she had a fantastic idea for a world in which people had witchy powers and there were different kinds of witches and they all came together and then there was sort of a prophecy or origin for all of these powers and there was going to be something to come of it and everything was meant to link together but I feel like she didn't pull it off very well. I don't think she wrote it very well at all and I don't know if I, I don't think it's because it's YA. I don't think she's kind of watered it down to be YA. I think this would have been an issue as well if it was in an adult series because at the beginning she info dumped, she info dumped and info dumped and it was awful. So I could not grasp the world building to begin with because there were all these things that she mentioned, all this terminology that I had to learn. So that was really distracting from when I wanted to get to know the characters. And then there are the characters who all sound the same. So you have the two best friends, Safi and Isolt. Isolt. They sound pretty much identical and they keep splitting up and getting back together. And we would follow one in one direction and one in another, but they sounded exactly the same. So it was really confusing. Then you have the two male characters as well. I can't remember their names. There's Malik. 
Marek, and then the Blood Witch, who's called Aiden or Aiduan or something. And they sounded really similar as well, but this also sounded similar to the girls. So you were following these four characters, but none of them were distinguishable. And I just got really confused. And because I was so distracted by the info dumping in this first book, I didn't get to know the characters all that well. I was just following them from one thing to the next. And one moment they were here, and then all of a sudden someone found them and they had to run over here or sail over there. So it was just non-stop and I didn't have time to settle into this world and get to know the characters like I wanted so I had an issue. That was all a problem because with Wind Witch you're dumped into the world as well and you should have a good foundation from reading the first one but because I didn't care about the first book I didn't have any foundation for this one and so that's why I decided to DNF. I did not care about the characters that I was reading about. It was better written in my opinion. The first half that I read was definitely better written so anyone who says that the series gets better definitely does but I just didn't care about the characters and if I don't care about characters why would I read a book especially one that I think isn't really adding anything new to the genre so I decided to DNF because I kept putting it down I kept reading five pages and then being like who are these people why do I care about them so I DNF'd it and then that means I didn't get around to reading Blood Witch which is what the publisher sent me and this is the whole reason I did this bloody reading vlog so I never got around to this one and I feel quite bad because I was going to do a whole release day thing it was going to be incredible in my opinion full of gushing and fangirling but I just could not do it so this series was a complete letdown um, I think I might do a giveaway but I'm not going to do a giveaway until we're out of lockdown and all of the shops and post offices and things are open because it's a bit tricky for me to get to the shops and then also I don't really want to go out and queue at the post office during these times so I will do a giveaway just not right now I'll do it eventually I'm so sorry if you watched this video expecting me to be gushing about this series or expecting anything exciting the book series itself wasn't very exciting so I feel like this vlog kind of failed badly and I'm not even sure if I should post it but like I said I've got enough footage now and I've worked on this for the past week and a half so I should probably post something to make myself feel better. Thank you so much if you made it this far I'm so sorry this vlog was such a mess but hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Do like and subscribe because it means a lot to me it really does help my channel and if you like it that'll make me feel a lot better about having put this half-assed video up. I wasn't even sure if I should but I am. Again thank you so much for watching I upload three times a week not really on a set day but definitely three times so thank you and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye!